Hi, I'm Taylor Anthony with the Charleston County Stormwater Division. In honor of National Water Quality Month, Charleston County Stormwater is happy to show you one of the ways that we keep our waters fishable and swimmable. Before me, I have our Enviroscape. It's a tool that we use to illustrate how ground pollution can affect water quality. The first thing you need to know before we do this is that storm drains, those drains that collect water at the side of the road, they don't collect rainwater like your house collects wastewater. It doesn't go to any sort of plant and it doesn't get clean and filtered. Storm drains connect directly to the nearest body of water that goes into our creeks, it goes into our rivers, and then eventually it will make its way into the ocean. So any sort of pollutant or contaminant that goes down the storm drains will make its way into the bodies of water. This Enviroscape is a really good way to show that visually. One of the most common pollutants that we have is fecal matter. And that could be from wild animals, but it could be from a septic tank leaking. It can also be from your pets. So let's imagine that somebody had a dog that they took on a walk and they didn't pick up the dog waste. Now it might not seem like such a big deal. It's just a little bit of dog waste. It'll eventually, you know, go back into the earth or something. But what if that night there's a heavy rain? All that rain washes over the waste, it picks up all those contaminants, and then it eventually makes its way into our bigger bodies of water. And it's not just dog waste, it's not just litter, it's not just those sort of things. Fertilizer is another big one. If you are working on your yard and you're using fertilizer, any of that spills into the road, it will get washed down the storm drain. Oil is another really, really big one. If your truck's leaking, it can go down the driveway into one of the storm drains. A big one that we have to deal with is restaurants. Restaurants, a lot of the times, don't want to deposit their oils correctly, their oils and greases that they use for frying correctly. So again, let's say that you have a restaurant that has been dumping or maybe they're trying to contain the oil correctly but their barrel's leaking or something or they just dumped it into the road. Again, it, it might not seem like a bad thing. It will go away eventually. Once it rains, all of that gets washed directly to our heaviest bodies of water. So while we do want to prevent dumping directly into the bodies of waters, we also want to make sure that we watch what goes on the ground because what goes on the ground will eventually make its way into the ocean. So this has been brought to you by the Charleston County Stormwater Division for National Water Quality Month. If you have any questions, you can always email us stormwater at charlestoncounty.org or you can call us at the stormwater hotline 843-202-7639. Thank you.